European cash equity markets have seen an increase in the value traded in primary auctions. Six Swiss exchange observed increased appetite from the industry to execute in auctions, especially at the close. There is, however, understandable caution about excessive price impact when placing large orders in auctions, therefore participants often use a participation cap or participation rate. This behavior results in potential counter-liquidity being sidelined during the auction and therefore not being executed. The auction volume discovery order type was developed to aggregate this capped liquidity without leakage of information or any impact on the price. Let's look at the following auction example without using the AVD order type. In accordance with the principle of highest executable volume, the largest possible quantity of executable orders is executed at a single determined price, the so-called theoretical opening price. In this example, the market would open or respectively uncross at 45 Swiss francs. Now let's look at an auction example, using the AVD order type. Without affecting the formation of the theoretical opening or closing price, this order type allows the execution of hidden volume at the uncrossing of the opening and closing auctions. Please note, that AVD orders are not subject to pre-trade transparency and therefore cannot be seen in the order book until the uncrossing. During the pre-opening and closing phase, entry and amendment of normal orders in the central limit order book will trigger a new calculation and hence a change in the theoretical opening price. On the other hand, changes to an AVD order have no effect on the theoretical opening price calculation. It is only at the uncross at 44 Swiss francs that AVD orders will be considered for matching and will therefore contribute volume to an opening or closing price that has already been established. AVD orders will be executed in the following order of priority, first, against any remaining non-AVD liquidity, and then, against other AVD orders. Thanks to the AVD order type, in this example 1000 shares were traded in the auction instead of the 800 shares that could have been traded without the use of it. Any unexecuted AVD orders from the opening auction will expire. However, unexecuted AVD orders from the closing auction, if enabled by the participant, may be carried forward into the trading at last period. In this example, 820 shares would either expire or be transferred to the TAL period. Either way, the order remains hidden from the market. AVD orders support the discrete submission of liquidity into the opening or closing auction, whereby remaining hidden from the market. Only at the uncross, AVD orders will be considered for matching, contributing volume to an already established uncross price and will be executed in the following order of priority. First, against any remaining non-AVD liquidity and then against other AVD orders. They can be entered as market or limit orders and are matched on a size-time priority basis, supporting minimum execution quantity. Once executed, AVD orders are flagged in the market data to indicate their contribution. After the closing auction, non-executed AVD orders can be transferred into the trading at last period, if enabled by the participant.